Hey there, it's Zahir here from Abbey Property. Glad to have you back on our channel. Today, we've got a hot topic for all property owners, landlords and tenants out there. Energy performance certificates or EPCs. Today, we've got a hot topic for all property owners, landlords and tenants out there. Energy performance certificates or EPCs. Intrigued? Let's get diving. Intrigued? Let's dive in. So what is an EPC you might ask? It's a document that provides an essential information about how energy efficient your property is. It assesses everything from your home's heating and water system right through to its overall energy use. And guess what? It ranks your property from an A to G. And A being the super efficient and G being the least efficient. And what's cool about an EPC report is that it not only shows your properties energy efficiency it also provides a handy recommendation on how you can make your home more efficient you can make your home more efficient how you can make your home more efficient and cheaper to run what that that could mean anything from swapping out your old light bulbs to new led ones um, to going all out on solar panels and a new boiler system here's the million dollar question do you need an EPC. Well, if you're selling or renting a property in England, Wales or Northern Ireland, the answer is yes. If you're in Scotland, the process is slightly different. Here, sellers need a more comprehensive home report, which includes an EPC along with a survey and property questionnaire. It's worth noting that by law, an EPC should be conducted and recorded before your property hits the market, whether it's for sale or for rental. However, there are a few exceptions. Not every property requires an EPC. So, for example, listed buildings, holiday lets, industrial sites, buildings intended for short-term uses, standalone buildings with less than 50 square meters or floor space, or places of worship are all exempt. So, how do you know if a property already has a valid EPC? Very easy. Check the EPC register. This online database is where all EPC assessors upload the reports and findings. So if you have a full address of a property, you can look it up. But remember, EPCs expire every 10 years after they're issued. So you might need to renew it. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but if you don't have an EPC and you're selling or renting out a property, you could face hefty fines up to 5,000 currently and increasing to 30,000 in 2025 so better get it sorted soon rather than later what can you expect during the epc assessment so the assessor will visit the property and investigate several factors such as the footprint and size insulation heating system windows and lighting now these findings will determine your home's energy efficiency rating but here's the question will the rating affect you or your property well up until 2025, if you're letting a property, it must be a minimum EPC rating of E. But from 2025, this increases to a minimum C rating for new tenancies. Now, for existing tenancies, this requirement kicks in from 2028. Now, what should home owners know? Now, even if there's no rule saying you need a valid EPC in a home that you own and you live in, it's still a good idea to have one. Simple changes can make a big difference. For example, in my case, just switching to an LED light bulb reduced my electricity consumption noticeably. Now, one final tip. If you're having an EPC done and decide to make the recommended improvements, consider using the same assessor when you renew the EPC. Now, this ensures consistency in approach and it makes it easier for you to track your improvements. Now, we here at Abbey Property are all about compliance. Now, our property experts are here to help you every step of the way from A to Z of listing your property for sale. So if you need an EPC assessment or any advice, don't hesitate to get in touch. We're here to guide you to an energy efficient future for your property. Until next time, take care.